before you actually uh, start uh, start drawing anything the very first thing you need to do is is to produce a title block yeah you need to produce a title block so it is this title block that will actually carry the information of the draftsman or draftsman you are the one known as the draftsman or the draftsman because you are the one making the construction all right so this title block is going to contain your information so if you are a student it's going to contain uh the necessary information in by just such as name school subjects topic skill date among the rest all right so how do we do this so different institutions have a, a different standard for their title block all right so there is not an acceptable standard in the wide world for a title block all right so the dimension for all the style of the title block used in school a might differ from that used in school b all right so for this particular one i'm going to use the one used uh in my secondary school days then yeah i remember vividly as i was taught by my secondary school teacher all right that towards the horizontal plane yeah this area and lest i forget title block is usually located at the bottom right hand corner of your drawing sheet which is what which is this area all right so how do i provide my title block so from this junction i'm going to measure 120 millimeters towards uh the horizontal plane yeah from the edge here, measure 120 millimeters which is this mark here okay then for the height i'm going to measure 50 millimeters 50 millimeters on the vertical plane here i measure what 50 millimeters which is what which is here okay so after doing that the 50 millimeters which is here i'm going to draw it out with my words with my t square so i'm going to draw in thin line first of all all right while the mark of 120 the mark of 120 on the horizontal plane i'm going to draw that one with my set square because that is going to be what a vertical line and remember i told you you have to draw a vertical line which is what a t square and what and the set square just in this manner okay as you can see i have a perfect what a perfect rectangle okay so after doing that i need to what i need to thicken these lines out okay my 50 by 120 mm line i'm going to what thicken them out now okay so after doing that remember on this vertical plane the height is what the height is height of five centimeters or 50 millimeters so i am going to divide this height 50 millimeter into five equal parts which means each of the parts will carry what will carry 10 millimeters so i am going to do that now with my ruler all right okay so these are the points here from the distance between each point here now is what is 10 millimeters so after doing that the next thing is what pick your t square slide it here to each of those points and draw a thick line yeah draw a thick line to the what to the other end okay as you can see perfect isn't it okay so the next thing is this the next thing is this from in each of you know i am having what now i am having five smaller uh rectangular shapes yes or no? rectangle one rectangle two rectangle three rectangle four and rectangle five okay so in each of the rectangles in each of the rectangles as their boundaries i am measuring two millimeters each Two millimeters from the top and from the bottom you understand you know year to year is what is 10 millimeters so inside this gap of 10 millimeters i'm measuring was two millimeters towards the top down here then two millimeters from this bottom towards the towards the top here so i'm going to do that now for each of the rectangular boxes i'm having here okay so for the first one here so two millimeters two millimeters so the distance between here and here is going to be what? It's going to be six millimeters, all right? So let me draw the line here. So the line I'm going to draw now is going to be what? It's going to be a thin line. Yeah. It's going to be a thin line. On that mark, two mm both at the top and at the bottom of our boundaries, all right? So can you see now? That is just it. So I am replicating the same on 
each of the other four rectangular boxes now okay you can see how it looks isn't it fascinating it is fascinating all right so from this edge here i'm going to measure 30 millimeters towards my right hand side or 30 centimeter okay so placing my ruler i pick what uh 30 or 30 mm or what or 30 centimeter at that mark i'm going to draw a vertical line i'm going to draw a vertical line on that mark all right And that vertical line is going to be thick, a thick line. So that is it. Now I have uh, the title block. The next thing is to fill in the necessary information, and that is classified under lettering. Under lettering. Okay. So take note of this. On this first column here, I'm going to write name. Name. All right. So my very first letter N. So I want you to take note of something here. See the letter hand. You can see that both the top and bottom part of my letter hand does not exceed this line of 2 mm. Yeah, this thin line. It doesn't exceed it. Neither does it fail to touch it. You can see the line touches this and this, and it doesn't work. It does not exceed it. So that is a perfect lettering. So if I were to write it in this manner, like this and then that is a uh that is very very wrong yeah that's very wrong so this one is what it is practically wrong why this one is what why this one is correct all right so we need to take note of that likewise if i write something like this you understand in this manner so it is also what very very wrong because this end what exceeds uh the boundary line this thin line yeah it exceeds so this particular end is what is perfect so that is how your lettering should also look like it must be within the range of the two thin lines yeah inside the line of mark then all right then it must touch yeah it must touch and it must not what it must not go beyond right so it depends on your school so on this one i'm going to fill in name on this column i'm going to fill in class on this column i'm going to fill in subject on this column i'm going to fill in topic while on this column i'm going to fill in uh skill right. So in most cases, the scale for each of our drawings is usually one ratio one, except if it is otherwise stated. All right. So take note of that. Take note of that.